and welcome back to the angry boo official i am your host justin kendrick and i am here with another review for you and if you can see on here if you're familiar with the tin you'll know because i know y'all can't read backwards that this is the iron goddess of mercy it is a snoof product created by mr snuff developed by six photo lakman das of India is an Indian snuff <clears throat> and let's crack into it because I am going to review it we have the Buddha on there or possible a different type of monk or another type of reinterpretation of Buddha how perfect for the angry Buddha first time trying this first time cracking it open it looks moist like a lot of snoof or Indian snuffs very nice. Looks to be about a medium, medium grind. And that could be a finer grind than just me, or a fine medium. And the moisture kind of thickens it up. Now what I'm smelling absolutely right off the bat is incense. Maybe some menthol. Um, the Kalish, Kalish, um, wasn't what I wanted it to be when I did the six photo Kalish or super Kalish. Uh, it was very incense -y. I love incense. I love burning incense. I always have over the years. But that snuff kind of just gave me a headache. It seemed quite strong too, which I enjoy. But uh, solid black, and I just, uh, not that solid black is a problem. It's just from what I, I'm just remembering using it, and that's kind of like what the deal was. But it, you know, it was a, uh, you know, it wasn't bad. It was just like a little too much. Um, this smells a bit like that, um, just not quite as much. Seems a little bit like it might be a little bit more inviting. However, uh, and maybe a little bit more perfumier than that one. That one is straight up like they just grinded down some incense and threw it in a black snuff and gave it to you. And I'm not saying that's bad. That stuff is great, but I just can't. I just can't put it all the way in my nose. Now let's check out this one. Uh, let's go a little lower. I don't know what this is going to be like. Here we go. Wow. Menthol is much stronger there. <laughs> musky, musky. Incense. Straight to the dome. Old school. Kind of Nag Champa. Which, I can see why we're appreciating this one here. With the menthol, compared to like Super Kalish, uh, the menthol does it a lot more justice. The Super Kalish, six photo. And yes, they're two different brands, but we know they're made by the same person. The Super Kalish 6 Photo is just kind of headachey. The incense is nice, but it's just incense. There might even be a little bit of menthol in that one, now that I'm thinking about it. But um, it's a little bit coarser and just not as pleasant to take. This gives me that incense smell with that menthol, and that really perfects this. And now I see why people like Iron Goddess. At first, um, I was interested, and then when I looked it up, I know, because I'm the same Angry Buddha official. I gotta get a Buddha snuff, or you know, something like that, related. Whoops. And uh, you know, I just I thought that I would have really loved Kalish a lot more. And uh, in this channel, y'all might have seen that maybe I've talked a little bit about spirituality here. We're not gonna really get into that. This is a tobacco channel, but um, uh, and y'all know that I'm not really a religious person. However, I used to be into, uh, I guess, more of my spiritual side, and the when I was still kind of going through and discovering more about uh buddhism and hinduism a few years ago i uh kind of brought that spiritual the spiritual practices even as an atheist into my life to maybe practice more positive um practices anyways to get the story short like i said i was really into um those cultures and everything and to know something about the buddha i am not i'm into multiple cultures i love different spiritualities um no, I'm not really a fan of Abrahamic religions, and that's fine if you are. It's nothing uh, personal. Um, but I'm more into, like, Norse mythology, occultism, and the dark side, maybe, of the Abrahamic spiritualities. But I don't believe in something that was created by a religion that I don't believe in. You see what I'm saying? So, um, but anyway, point is, <laughs> all to what I'm trying to get at is that I felt like I would have liked Kalish more and I expected myself to use it. Things change, 
Um, you know, I've grown, I've evolved, I've moved on. Still love that type of spirituality and culture. I mean, it's in, you know, obviously I might like something or I might not have nothing to do with anything in Buddhism and having the name the Angry Buddha. But all of it is kind of tied, kind of tied together. Anyways, we're rambling off a little bit. And I just wanted to say this, however, I could see myself using a lot more. And even maybe when I'm watching a good documentary or something on, you know, this, you know, shoot, uh, just, you know, great, um, sorry, I thought I saw something on my couch. God, I'm getting so distracted. But I'm, uh, you know, I just, this is something I could see myself using a bit more when maybe I'm feeling that type of, uh, you know, kind of vibe. It took me so long just to tell me that <laughs> I might use this enough when I have that type of vibe. But this is really nice. <laughs> doesn't seem like it's going to stay in my nose forever because that Kalish uh, really does because I don't necessarily want it to. But I could totally see myself jamming some Ravi Shankar. If you don't know who that is, check him out. Plays sitar. <laughs> um, what is his daughter's name? He has a famous daughter that uh, we all know from the 90s. I can't think of her damn name. Um, Nora Jones. Yes, I know. What? Nora Jones? Yes, Nora Jones is Ravi Shankar's, the instrumentalist. Uh, not the, not the s spiritual leader, but the instrumentalist, the famous sitar player, Ravi Shankar. That is his daughter, Nora Jones. I know, you would have never guessed, would you? You can look that up. Anyways, this is really nice. Um, I'm not sure what the mint is in there. It's almost kind of spearminty. With, uh, I don't know, don't quote me on spearmint. But uh, this is really nice. Uh, I give this new of a thumbs up uh, on this one. Seems like I'm like everybody else and I enjoy it. Um, would this be an everyday for me? No. Is it easy to use? Yes. Is the menthol too much? No. Uh, it is a good cold blast, but it's very refreshing even in the, the drip, kind of going to the back. It's, uh, it's not unpleasant. And, um, uh -oh, one second. Well, let's wrap this video up. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Leave a thumbs up. I'll get back to you all there. Gotta answer the doctor.